Hey y'all, I'm Cindy. Welcome to Cindy Hart's Crochet Podcast, where we talk about crochet and crochet accessories. Today is Sunday, March the 8th, 2020, and it has been a beautiful day here in Pinson, Alabama. Uh, the sun was shining bright and the clouds were nowhere to be found. And um, did you spring back, I'm sorry, spring forward last night? <laughs> if not, you're late for something. Uh, or you will be. So make sure that your clocks are set to the proper hour at this time. <laughs> so welcome to my new subscribers and welcome back to my returning subscribers. Thank you for joining me this evening. I would like to come to you this evening to talk to you about Hat Not Hate and making blue hats to donate to this organization. Um, I saw Crystal of Bag of Day uh, sending out a plea to all of us crafters, whether we knit, crochet, or loom knit, whether we, <clears throat> excuse me, whether we YouTube or not YouTube, um, to help uh, raise, I think it's 10,000 hats they are looking for. Um, I'm just going to scroll up real quick behind you. It says, help us reach our goal of 100,000 hats. Our mission is to rally communities, communities to raise awareness and stand up to bullying. So what they want you to do is make hats. Uh, they should be between 16 to 20 inches in circumference. The color blue represents awareness, peace, and solidarity. Blue is the color to wear in support of anti-bullying. Because bullying is bad, okay? <laughs> Um, hats should be made, should be handmade of any blue yarn and at least 75% blue. They ask that you wear your hat and help us to spread the message of hat not hate. Uh, you could also purchase tags. Uh, there are wooden tags they have available as well as fall, faux leather tags. I have purchased 20 of the wooden tags that you can attach to your hats. And um, if you will put comments below here, and if you are making hats for um, this campaign, uh, just let me know that you are going to make hats and that you um, would like to be entered to receive or be considered to receive Happy Mail containing one of the uh, wooden tags. Also, if you make the hats, Go ahead and post them in the Facebook page. I may draw some from over there too. Um, I will give away 15 of these uh, randomly through this period of time uh, to 15 different people. I will only send one per person. Um, and like I say, I will draw them randomly, whether they be from uh, the Facebook group or this video. Um, so I'm not sure it said, I think I'll probably receive them in about 10 days. So probably starting when, what is today, March the 8th. So I'll probably spread them out over that amount of time and starting around April the 1st or the first week of April, I'll start giving those or drawing for someone to receive those. And once you get them and put them in your hats before you mail them, Please uh, take a picture of it. Not that I won't prove for anything, but I would like to see, um, and everybody would like to see how they look mounted or sewn on or whatever it is you do to them. Um, I personally don't know. I've never included tags on any of my things, so I'm interested in getting some. I'm going to keep five for myself uh, because I think I can um, make five hats between now and then. Um, so, yeah. But if you want more than that, you can purchase these tags. I will leave a link below for the Hat Not Hate organization. Um, it is sponsored by Lion Brown, I do believe. And um, they ask that you share a picture with your blue hat, post it on Facebook and Instagram, and use hashtag Hat Not Hate. Uh, donated hats will be distributed to schools across the country. Send your hats in by August the 1st, 2020. So any uh, tags that I will give out or mail to anyone will be between, I'm going to say, April 1st and maybe like 
June 15th. That way uh, they can be mailed to you and you can uh, sew them on and get them to Hat Not Hate organization within that amount of time. There is a link on that website that um, goes to drop-off locations or um, across the country. And I have also emailed uh, Lion Brand and the Hat Not Hate organization to see if there are any schools within Alabama that I can um, send directly to or if they prefer me sending to uh, directly to the address they've given in, uh, let's see, wherever it is. Let me see if I can find an address real quick. Um, Hat Not Hate, uh, Lion Brand Yarn Company, 140 Kero Road, K-E-R-O Road, Carlstadt, Carlstadt, New Jersey, 07072. Now that is the main address that hats can be sent to, but like I said, there is a map of the United States that um, shows different areas that uh, might be drop-off points. So anyway, um, I'm hoping that Lion Brand will consider me for a drop-off point or um, at least tell me some locations nearby that I can donate directly to schools uh, because I will be talking to people that aren't necessarily watching YouTube or that watches me on videos on YouTube. I will um, hit up friends and family as well as Facebook friends that may not necessarily watch YouTube and see if they would be, would they would like to donate hats as well and then we can send them to the schools. So uh, in reading through the website, I was reading Shira's story and uh, it what inspired her to um, start this organization. Um, it is quite inspiring itself. Um, it's sad that people have to be bullied uh, to come to to bring people together for uh, such a good cause. But, um, you know, bullying is just not good. <laughs> Um, I personally was not bullied as a child, even though I had short, frizzy hair. I looked like a boy because I had short, frizzy hair and uh, big green eyes. <laughs> and um, what else? I wasn't always a tiny child or anything. I was short. I've always been short because in all of my school pictures, all the other kids feet are on the ground and mine's like hanging off of the <laughs> hanging off of the chair um, but like I said I personally don't recall any bullying uh, throughout my school days I did have several reasons that I could have been bullied uh, but thankfully I'm so thankful that that did not happen to me um, if it did then I just didn't recognize it or I went about my way um, there were friends in school or not regular everyday friends or anything, but schoolmates, classmates, that I did see that were bullied for this reason or that reason. And I tried to not necessarily be mean about it to the bullies, but I kind of just scooted these people over to maybe focus their attention elsewhere in hopes that they wouldn't realize that people were being ugly towards them. I uh, can honestly say that I've been bullied more in my adult life than I ever was as a child. Um, and if you think about it, um, you know, anybody that might post an ugly comment on someone's video or their Facebook page or their Instagram, not just voicing your opinion, but being downright ugly to someone, that's bullying. If you send emails, ugly emails to people because you didn't like what they said in their videos or their comments or their participation in certain things, um, not just voicing your opinion, but being ugly, that's also bullying. So yeah, <laughs> think about that one. Um, also, you know, I've had uh, people that called themselves friends throughout the years that uh, might have been might have caused friction between two good friends or 
I don't know, made up stories to uh, to keep friends from being friends or whatever, uh, narcissistic type values. <laughs> That's not value. That's also bullying. So yeah, don't be ugly. Listen to Granny D, don't be ugly. Um, but, and most of that in my adult life is why I pretty much stay home. And, um, you know, I'm just old and set in my ways now, so it's me and G. <laughs> Thank you all, though, for coming to his party yesterday. He sure had a good time and enjoyed his burgers. Uh, we both came in, I think, and went to sleep pretty early um, because that we just had so much fun. <laughs> but thank you all for loving him and for loving me. Um, but anyway, back to the reason we're here. So, yeah, um, make blue hats. Click the link below. Hashtag hat not hate. Uh, post hats to Cindy Hart's Crochet Facebook group. Um, I will also link, I think I saw that Crystal has a new video, video up, like just in the fa past few minutes, got a notification that Crystal of Bag of Day has put up a new video of an easy, um, beginner friendly blue beanie. Uh, so I will be looking at that one, uh, because I can't get fancy and try to turn those things out, right? But I will put a flower on them, or I will do some with ponytail holes or something, you know, for uh, messy buns or ponytails, uh, and we'll just send all kinds in. Uh, once I hear back from Lion Brand as to whether they will allow me to distribute some of these, I will let you know, and let's see how that goes, because that would just touch my heart greatly to be able to do that. Whether anybody sends any in or not, um, I would just love to... Uh, be a part of that a bit bigger than just making hats. Even though I know just making hats is enough. But anyway, so thank you all for listening. Uh, let me know if you're going to make hats uh, in your co in the comments below. Um, like the video if you do indeed like it. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and click on that notification bell to the setting of all. That way you will know if um, when I put new videos up, and again, thank you for joining me. And I look forward to seeing everybody's beautiful blue hats. Thank y'all. Have a good evening. Love you. Bye.